All right, now we're gonna try out the story mode of probably one of the weirdest characters ever in a fighting game, Peacock, who seems to be primarily a projectile and ranged attack character, meaning she's pretty not that good up close. She wants to keep you away with projectiles and such. Well, we'll see. Let's see what the hell she is. Look at this. The Duck Hive Meet Peacock Lab Apes Magnum Opus. So this is Project Peacock. I've read the papers, but I'm embarrassed to say I can barely follow them. I'll explain. Project Peacock is equipped with not one, but two synthetic parasites. Lab Zero has created one other like her, but more extreme methods are required to complete the synchronization. Two synthetic parasites? Regulating the soul contamination must be difficult. Indeed, but with the proper Theonite balance, I think we could graft even more onto future subjects. The Argus system not only lets her see everything, but the eyes also generate powerful Z-rays at the precise wavelength needed to disrupt the Skullgirl's essence. Hey Gramps, shut it, I'm busy here. Okay, she's supposed to be 13 and she's smoking a cigar. <laughs> the Avery unit is admittedly a bit less well understood. We designed it to be a special link between her body and Lab 8's vast underground arsenal, but she's doing things with it I never imagined possible. Seriously, Doc, shut it. I'm getting to the good part. To think, that poor mutilated orphan I found may be the one to defeat Skullgirl once and for all. Huh. Ooh! Jesus! What just happened? Hey, hey, listen. This is Avery. Squawk! Wake up, Peacock! The United Resonance Detector is picking up a huge reaction downtown. It's her, boss. The Skullgirl's on the move. Hot damn, put some coffee on and give me it. I should say, give me 15, 15 minutes. Ready, everyone? It's time to paint the town red. So did the boss take a bath or what? And what does she brush her teeth with anyway? Metal polish? <laughs> I think a bath and a usual morning routine were implied, but they aren't something the audience needs to see. Hot 2D fighting! What the hell? <laughs> Hot 2D fighting! Okay. She's a crazy good ranged character. Holy crap. Just keeps you away the whole round. Just throwing shit out there. She doesn't even need combos. I mean, she has like one. I was messing around a little bit in training mode. But she doesn't even need combos. She just fucking keeps you away and your combos into super. A pony tag. Ladies and gentlemen, it's showtime. So good. She's 
she's really good. It's a ranged character. I, I mean, obviously, like, people who rush down are going to kick her ass, but it's awesome that she's able to shoot all the shit out on the screen at once. It's the fun! Target it's the fun, she said. Ladies and gentlemen, it's showtime! TV hit her in the head and I comboed into super. <laughs> A fucking TV landed on her head. <laughs> she was a crazy fucking character. Holy shit, man. Man, who are all these posers getting between me and the Skull Girls? Don't they know who I am? I was built to beat Skull Girls. The sooner I get done with that Skull Girl, the sooner we can get back to watch Glorious Annie, Symphony of Star stuff. <laughs> Yeah, I gotta get back to watch wrestling. I heard Beowulf's coming out of retirement. It's Andy. Andy the Anvil. And Avery. Squaw, cold it, everyone. We got a message coming in from Dr. Avian. Come in, Peacock. Er, this is Betray Us. This is Labs Under Attack. The Doc's in Trouble. Uh-oh. We're too late. Whoever it was really did a number on the lab. Patricia, Dr. Avian. Oh, God, what happened? Did you hear that? I think Doc, it's Doc Avian. Oh, my God. Dr. Avian, who did this to you? Ugh. Lab Zero, Valentine betrayed us. She let the Skull Girl in. Which way did they go? They fled to New Meridian. Follow, but make sure the others are safe. I know you can protect everyone. I know you can defeat the Skull Girl. He's gone, boss. It's Tommy... Tommy the 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 ton, the ton I guess Tommy the ton weight and Andy the anvil guys get ready pissing me off is the last mistake those idiots will ever make squaw I see your boss the schoolgirl's right over there wait it can't be Marie she's the skull girl. I'm sorry, my child, but your reunion with Marie will have to wait. She has important business to attend to in the Grand Cathedral. Another peacock? Looks more like a dodo to me. Extinct. Enough. Avian's legacy ends now. 